The Venetian tournament director posted on Twitter the upcoming Deep Stack Extravaganza schedule. I checked it out and asked if any big blind anti tournaments would be in this schedule. He says no, but there might be one in the next series. Further conversation ensued, uh, me explaining the merits of big blind ante. What that is, is if the blinds are 1-200, the big blind also throws in another 200 to pay the antes for the whole table. I really feel this is the future of tournament poker. It alleviates many, many problems, such as the dealer asking every single time. Ante up, ante up. Oh, change for an ante? Oh, who didn't ante? Slowing down the game collecting all the antes, counting down the antes. If one person does it, they're responsible for it. Therefore, speeding up the game and making life a lot easier for every dealer in every poker room ever. Matt Savage has implemented this in many, if not all of, its, all of his tournaments. He really seems to be on the ball with what's the best for the tournament poker. So we got into a little discussion on Twitter And after he said, you know, speak to me at the Venetian, we can discuss it more. Some well-named pros such as Matt Stout, Ari Engel. Daniel Negreanu chimed in. arguing the merits for big blind anti tournaments so hopefully venetian listens to the people and uh, implements this in the upcoming series i know the win poker class is coming up six hundred dollar buy-in we'll have big blind anti structure is already posted They're willing to try it, and I think the, the feedback's gonna be great. Let me know in the comments below what you think of big blind anti-tournaments. Let's bag and tag.
30,000 starting stack. We currently have 23,000. No hands, and we got a maniac on our right who's 5 to 10 xing all of his hands. Could have shoved on him twice with fives, but didn't feel like putting 50 blinds in quite yet. With blinds at 500, 1000, middle position limps, small blind limps, we check, king 10 off, the flop comes queen, queen 8, rainbow, checks around, the turn is an ace, small blind checks, we bet 1200, limper throws in 2200, two 1ks and two 100s, so it's rolled or min raise, he says no, I'm all in. I don't even know what to think about that logic. We could call with King High, try to hit our gut shot on a paired board, but uh, we could be drawing dead, who knows. These, our opponents today are mysteriously bizarre, to say the least. It might be the softest tournament I've ever played, and I can't win a pot. With blinds at 4,800, under the gun opens for 2,200. We now have 12,500 and we're on the button with pocket sixes. Normally this is a fold, but we haven't won any hands and we've got to win some pots. You got to gamble. We can't just fold everything. We've tried limping, we've tried raising, we've tried sea betting. So we're all in. 15 blinds. Under the gun, ask for a count. It's six physical chips, seven chips. He hesitates and puts in the call. He shows pocket queens. The flop comes, 5-4 deuce. The turn is a five and the river is a deuce. We do not suck out and we are out. But we have $400 in our pocket and we're ready to gamble. Still can get in for 30 blinds so we re-enter. We lose a few pots. The blinds are now 600 at 1200. Action folds to us in the cutoff, and we have pocket nines. 2.5 exit to 3000. A woman with fake eyelashes in the small blind shoves all in for 20,000. We snap call. She shows ace five of spades. The flop comes ace queen deuce. The turn is a five. The river is a seven. She backs up her play saying, She had to do it. What do you want me to do there? Of course I'm all in. With other uh, needling remarks, all I can do is read them right and make the call. We now have 2.5 big blinds. We get it in shortly thereafter in a 40-60 situation and do not improve. Very tilted. Might be the hair. We're not going to fire the third bullet at 612 to get 30k chips. So we're going to do the drive of shame and maybe try again on Friday. $800 lost at the Venetian. I went into the design lab and worked hard and in the end I came out with what I believe is a real game changer when it comes to t-shirt designs. And you're going to see it here first. It's the official Disregard Females Acquire Crypto Jeff Boski original, excellent quality t-shirt, soft as silk, yet durable and fashionable. Get yours today in white or heather gray, soon to be listed in the Big Frog store on jeffboski.com. Click the link below and you'll be directed to get your t-shirt today.